Quantile Autoregressive Distributed Lag, or QAIDL, models are an advanced econometric tool used to analyze the dynamic relationship between variables at different points in their conditional distribution. Unlike traditional ARDL models that focus on conditional mean relationships, quantile ARDL models provide a more comprehensive analysis by developing the distribution of the dynamic relationships. Previous versions of eViews have included a comprehensive set of ARDL tools, as well as general quantile regression analysis. eViews 14 blends these together to offer the quantile ARDL estimation of Cho, Kim, and Shin 2015. The quantile estimation extends to the error correction results of the ARDL process, the co-integrating relationship, and the bounds test. eViews also offers nonlinear or asymmetric quantile ARDL estimation. To demonstrate, we have a similar data set to that used in Cho, Kim and Shin. These data contain quarterly real dividend and real earnings data on the US stock market from 1871 through 2021. We'll estimate a simple quantile ARDL model at the 50% quantile with dividends as the dependent variable and returns as the independent variable. To do so, we click on Quick, Estimate Equation, and change the method to ARDL. We then type our dependent variable followed by the regressor. Next, we change the method to quantile and keep the quantile to estimate as 0.5. Since we're estimating a standard quantile model without asymmetries, we leave the asymmetric specifications empty. Following Cho, Kim and Shin, we only include a constant and then fix the model at three lags of the dependent variable and one lag of the regressor. The options tab has a ton of options, including some for the model selection routine for estimation with automatic lag selection, covariance options, quantile calculation options, and various other estimation options. We'll go with all of the defaults. Note this means we're using a sandwich estimator for the covariance. Clicking OK produces the estimation output. The top section contains a summary of the estimation we performed. Below that we have the coefficients, standard errors, t-statistics and p-values for both the distributed lag regressors and then the deterministic regressors, just a constant in our case. Finally, at the bottom we have the summary statistics. Once estimation is performed, we can view the co-integration details from the view menu, including the error correction form, and the co-integrating equation. These views are at our chosen quantile of 0.5. We can also view these for multiple quantiles to view how the process changes through the quantiles. Finally, we can also view the usual bounds test under the quantile estimation. and the standard dynamic multiplier graph.